Hey guys, it's Tech Rain here. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the QE Labs USB C dock for the M2 and M1 Mac Mini. That is right. If you guys did not know, I recently got this here today because I've been traveling with the Mac Mini and I have a few different problems with it. The first problem I have with the Mac Mini is the lack of storage on it because I got the Mac Mini with 16 gigabytes of RAM. However, I only decided to get 256 gigs of actual storage. Now, keep in mind, each project I work on for YouTube takes around 50 gigs. So you can see how that's an issue. Only like five projects I can get done. But with this, I can solve my storage issue because one, I can actually add a 2.5 hard drive, which I'm gonna add like a five terabyte hard drive. And we'll have that link down below if you are interested in the stuff I'm gonna add to this thing. And also you can add a M.2 NVMe drive to this thing. So you can add up to like six terabytes of storage with this device on top of that like 256 gig for the Mac mini. So yeah you can see how much this is going to be important to the actual mac mini and the other thing problem wise i was having was the lack of ports on the mac mini for like the devices i connect especially missing a micro sd card reader and an sd card reader because like when i use my cameras on the go i need to be able to take this information pull them off and then put it on the mac so i can start editing it down so that has that issue solved as well plus some extra ports as well so there's two other problems with the Mac Mini, but I'm not gonna really discuss them because it's not too important, but I'll probably cover them in a later video because I plan to do a video making the ultimate portable Mac Mini setup and also what's inside my camera bag video. So you don't wanna miss out on any of those videos, get subscribed. But for right now though, let's get into the unboxing. First thing off the rip, we have the box itself now. It does have a slip and slide design where you just like push it from the sides and you can actually get access to the device, which is pretty nice. I love those kind of boxes in my opinion. And, and then on top of that too, it's just a pop-up. It feels very similar to like opening the Mac mini box when I first got it, cause that's how it kind of functions like. And then once you get in here, you do get access to the dock in itself. And of course it's got this little plastic thing around it. Now it's got an aluminum build based on the like the thing. You can actually see the actual dock area here. And if you remove this top, you will get access to your drive bay. So, of course, like I said earlier, this does support a 2.5 uh, inch drive. So you can put a SSD in here or you can put a 2.5 actual hard drive in here, which I plan to do. And it actually gets powered via SATA and also the other information. And then you can support up to a NVMe drive. So like we're gonna put a 990 Pro in here. So yeah, that's the drive bay area. Really nice. Uh, you can support multiple drive links. So you can pretty much do anything you want. Now for the ports, you have access to the first thing. You have a USB-C port and also a micro uh, SD card a reader and a SD card reader, which is so nice because I had an issue where I like to grab the SD card reader from the studio before I can go on vacation. And you can see how much that's a problem. So yeah, that, that solves that issue. Uh, then we also have over here a USB 3 port three of them exactly like that which is awesome and now that's gonna be for like the front io so it makes it look super good now for the back we have access to a few things first of all we have a actual uh one usb c port so they're gonna connect the usb c cable to this device directly so that we can support all the uh, ports and also drives then you have another usb c port just to power the device so that's gonna be important information uh and then we got a display port and hdmi port so if you want to connect another monitor you can connect two monitors with this thing which is cool first of all if you take up the little box we'll get access to the cables you first of all get that usb c to usb c for actually the connecting to the computer and then we actually got ourselves a usb c to usb a uh port so that way you can actually power the device and then finally you got another thing which is some screws and stuff like that that go with this device so that way you can actually screw down the drive bay area. They also provide a cute little screwdriver too. That's nice. So you can put your M.2 down. You can get your actual hard drives down. Uh, so let me show you how to set that on up. So all we want to do, they actually install a drive is take our 2.5 inch actual SATA drive. And then we want to make sure to line up the actual headers of this thing with actually the port on the front here. So we're going to just line this on up, make sure to have that on the right side and push it on in and it's really easy to install. And with that, we have our SSD installed. And now for the MVMe drive, all you do is same process, get your MVMe drive of choice. You make sure to line it up with actually the headers on the front so that way it actually bites. And then you just wanna wiggle it on in and then push it on down. Actually, I just realized they don't even use the M.2 screws. They use this cute little button thing. So you literally just take this button thing, line it on up with the link and push it on down. And that's how you install the M.2. I really like that. That's actually really, really nice. So all we do is now take our little lid for the M.2 uh, docking hub, push it on down like so. And then what you do is just take your Mac mini. Then all we need to do is take one, take the USB-C cable, the USB-C that came with the thing, plug one to one's the USB USB-C ports on the Mac mini and the other one into the one that where it says computer on the actual 
dock in itself, which is really clean. I like that. Then all we do is take that other USB-C to USB-A cable that we actually got with this thing. That way the power device, and we will just plug that into the other USB-C port on it. And then we just plug this and to an outlet. Now all we have to do is power on our Mac Mini and then if everything works perfectly fine, we should see all the devices on it when it actually turns on. Now that our Mac Mini is loaded on up, you can actually see both of the devices we added into USB Hub are added here. So we got the 980 Pro, one terabyte, and we also have that SSD for 500 gigabytes, which is awesome. So I would recommend though, formatting them for the Mac Mini if they have no thing on them. So you can see with my SSD, it actually has stuff on here. So I'm not gonna reformat this. I can actually just go in here and grab stuff. However, I will probably reformat this just because of the fact that I need to be able to use it properly. So what you're gonna do is go into Finder and when you're Finder, look in the search bar and type up disk utility. And once you open this on up here, which will be one of the first things that pops up, you wanna click your drive and then right click on it, go to erase. And once you erase, it's gonna erase the information on the actual drive itself. So you're just gonna remove the name and then go down here and find your actual XFAT. And what you're gonna do with XFAT, it's just gonna put that one because what it does is make it so it works for Mac and also works for Windows. And we're just gonna call it 990 Pro because that's the name of the drive and I don't wanna get confused when I install the drive later if I need to. And then we're gonna erase this drive and it's gonna reformat it. So that is awesome. I'm gonna click done. But yeah, I can start using it now. You can see I can create a new folder or I can put a project into it. So for example, here, we're just gonna take this. I'm gonna paste that project I have from earlier here, which I have like some big uh, recordings I just did recently. We'll just take this one for the time being because it's like four or five gigs. And we're gonna now paste this on here. And I kind of want to see a speed test of this thing. I'm curious to see how fast it like just pastes on here. Okay, that was pretty quick. That was actually really, really fast. This file is pretty big too, keep in mind. So keep in mind, this actual, that was pretty fast. And keep in mind, this is a two gigabyte file. If we actually go in to get more info, you can actually see right here, this file is actually like an episode tower got reacted to. It's like two gigabytes. So it transferred it within like a few seconds. So that was pretty quick. But then again, it is a USB-C hub via uh, NVMe drive to a, uh, was it 990 Pro? So 990 Pro, 980 Pro. So I'm not surprised, but at the same time too, USB hubs are usually slow and that's because they're using a USB connection and USB-C is slightly faster or sometimes even significantly faster, but depends. So, hey, that is sick. The next thing we should be able to do is just take a SD card and also micro SD card and plug it into the device. And I did figure out something interesting that this is gonna be tough. I recommend if you have a micro SD card, always install that first because it's just way too small. So what we're gonna do is take a micro SD card, line it on up with actually the bottom side here and you gonna make sure it's on the back side where the gold pins are pointed up to the device and pinch it on in there. And then for the SD card, same process, you just wanna plug this on in and this one you can face up like so. If we can go to our Mac Mini, you can actually see both of those actual SD cards have been added to the device. And this just makes my life so much easier for when I do my work. So what we'll do now is just a little speed test. We're gonna take one of the camera footage from the actual micro SD card and we're gonna place it onto the actual internal drives we just added. So we're gonna add it to the uh, 980 Pro and we're just gonna paste this on in here in that unnamed file area. And then we'll just see how long it takes to paste it. Should be pretty quick since you transfer the other one pretty fast. Okay, it's not that fast compared to like transferring from the internal storage on the Mac Mini onto the hub, but I will say it's pretty quick for the SD card reader. It isn't like the fastest in the world. So now let's get into my final thoughts about this USB hub for the Mac Mini. Do I think it's good? Do I think it's worth the price? Well, let me go over the pros of it. First of all, it solves two of my problems with the Mac Mini so far, which is the lack of ports, the actual micro SD card slot and SD card missing, and also the storage issue with the Mac Mini. Because the big issue with the Mac Mini is just like the performance of this thing is kind of limited once you buy it for yourself. You can't even upgrade the RAM nor upgrade the storage. And if you want to buy Buy more storage for this thing off the start it's going to cost you around six to eight hundred dollars depending on how much ram you put on it and two terabytes cost eight hundred dollars which Ooh. is just absolutely ridiculous to think about in the long term so just being able to buy this for like 119 dollars then just buy a hard drive for whatever drive space you want for like five terabytes for 160 slap in another one terabyte for a hundred dollars that's a total of six terabytes of storage that you had only to spend $300 on instead of spending $800 on two terabytes, which is kind of obvious why this is kind of like a must have for actually the Mac mini. And I've had no issues with it so far. I had seen some reviews that some versions of this model actually have some like reading problems. And I think it's because of the fact, I think there's two vendors selling this actual device as a uh, messed up version of this device and as a positive version of this device with no issues. I want the one with the course that I bought down below that I have no issues with, but 
I did see some stuff about that, but I haven't had any issues with it so far. So we're good because I tested the heck out of it when it comes to transfers. Now, the other thing about this thing is one, it just saves you money. Of course, it solves your storage solution. And then the SD card reader and micro SD card reader are so nice. Like they aren't the fastest SD card readers in the world, but they are enough to get like this job done like they're faster than the micro sd card reader i actually use in the studio because i have a separate device for that and this thing on the actual mac mini is significantly faster so i might hook it up to my pc who knows but um it does work which i'm very happy about now the other two problems i just need to figure out are like my editing software and also the other things but that'll be for another time but my honest thoughts about this is is this a must have for the mac mini yes do i recommend it to everyone if you have a mac mini definitely if you have another device you could probably pick it up for that device but i wouldn't recommend it i would just say if you're mac mini mini user definitely get this for yourself because like it'll solve pretty much two of the big issues with the actual device in itself but that's my honest review of the mac mini of course i will have everything linked down below in this video so if you want to pick up it for yourself go for it and of course if you do that it does support the channel so always appreciated but i'll see you guys back here for another tech video until then have a great day tech grant out